Hey there, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and today we will talk about the disk defragmenter. Now what is the disk defragmenter? What does it do in your computer? And that's the common question. People know that you have to defrag your computer from time to time. People are always telling each other, hey did you defrag your computer? But you just don't understand what actually does it do. When you write files on your hard drive they take up space and when you erase some of those files they will actually create little holes where you know nothing's there. But your hard drive is intelligent enough to actually fill those holes when you write some new files on your, on your hard drive and on your computer. So what happens is that those holes will be filled up but the problem is if you write a file it has a pretty good chance of not being the same size as the original file that was in that hole. So what happens is that actually your computer will take the file, fill up the hole and if there's some left it will put it somewhere else in another hole, for example, if multiple holes are available on your hard drive. And what that means is that the little file is fragmented into small little pieces that are almost thrown everywhere on the hard drive where space is uh, available. So at first, when a computer was just reformatted, for example, well, most of the files are in pretty good order, but with usage and with time, files being rewritten, erased, uh, the computer, the hard drive tends to become very very fragmented and so having a defrag is important because a fragmented computer will run usually slower, uh, your hard drive will work a lot harder so uh, actually can have an issue into uh, having a hard drive uh, failure faster and um, it can also cause uh, read errors that will actually impact your computer and your computer can freeze or actually display some errors so it's important to defrag your computer now I'm not a big fan of defrags every week but I think maybe every two or three months you should take time to defrag your computer of course the more you do it if you do it every week usually it doesn't last very long. If you do it once a year it's gonna really take a longer time. I've uh, seen actually people that had uh, discs uh, that were so fragmented because they never did a defrag that it took uh, hours and hours and I've even seen someone that it took almost two days before the disc defrag would finish the job which is pretty amazing. So where do you get that disk defragmenter in Windows 7? Well, you just go onto the start menu and just start typing defrag, D-E-F-R and you'll see that at the list of programs disk defragmenter will show up. And there you will see the disk defragmenter and you can actually analyze a disk and defragment a disk. So what's the difference? I'll take the um, Win 7 English partition here and do Analyze Disk. What it will do is check your file system and let you know how much fragmentation is done on your disk. So the Analyze might actually give you an idea should or should, shouldn't I start a defrag process. So after I did that, it just it, it just says zero percent fragmented there, and so I believe that it's not really needed in the case of my C drive, for example. Um, the more your drive is big and has files on it, the longer these uh, processes will usually take. I would suggest that if your um, hard drive is fragmented more than ten percent. Uh, you should 
actually click on the uh, defragment uh, start the defragment process because it will actually replace a lot of the files in an orderly fashion in your computer for example my D drive here which is another Windows partition in my machine is much bigger and has lots and lots more uh, usage so I suspect that after being analyzed the D drive will have some fragmentation probably if you have only one or two percent fragmentation it is not a lot it usually doesn't impact but you can still do the frag defrag process you see here, here it says zero percent and one of the reasons it says zero percent also is the fact that in Windows 7 if you don't touch your computer for a while the defragment process starts on its own so a lot of the times if you are the kind of guy or girl that will leave the computer on for a few hours and you're not there it uh, usually does a defrag by itself and here is probably what happens on this computer because I tend to leave this computer uh, turned on for hours and uh, without me being there so um, it's a nice little feature that was added in Windows 7 so if you have fragmentation after being analyzed you can actually click defragment disk and it will start the process keep in mind that a one or two percent fragmentation will take a few minutes uh, 10, 20, 30 percent can take a few hours and if it's like 50 percent fragmentation it can take a full day just to frag defrag the, the computer so sometimes when it's very fragmented you can just leave it overnight start the defrag process before going to bed wake up in the morning it's done so this is disk defrag for Windows 7 if you enjoy these videos click the Windows 7 uh, uh, channel subscribe button just at the top of the uh, window that you're viewing this uh, video and uh, if you have any comments questions on what you've seen let us know if you have a video you'd like to see a request let us know we'll try to put a video online for you and uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel thank you bye